And the challenger makes his way to the ring. What an opportunity, Mike, for young Evan Courageous. A golden opportunity for Evan Courageous to garner championship gold. He's no stranger to the championship belt, especially the one that he's challenging for tonight, the WCW World Cruiserweight title. He's been there before. Can he get back to the top of the mountain against Chavo Guerrero Jr.? It was about one year ago, a little more actually, that Evan Courageous was the king of the cruiserweights in World Championship Wrestling. Concentrating on tag team action since that time, but now with a shot at this man, the champion, the standard bearer for the under 225 crowd, Chavo Guerrero Jr. And when you talked about Evan Courageous concentrating on tag team wrestling, I think that's where Chavo Guerrero Jr. has the advantage in this matchup, as well as the title defense if he's successful here on Worldwide this week that's set up for him Sunday at the Big Sin pay-per-view event. There's that new attitude of Chavo Jr. Absolutely, and two new handprints in the chest of Evan Courageous would watch Evan from behind Play. with a right hand, and we're off. Cruiserweight title at stake here on a Sin weekend. Off the rope to the back body drop. Ooh, the offense by Evan Courageous even before the opening bell, but he walked right into the high boot from Chavo Jr. Whoa! Oh. Wow! Chavo Jr. over the top. Wow, he just bowled him down to the mat. Absolutely. I thought he was going to go for a sleeper hold. He just grabbed him around the neck and drove him down to the canvas. He just neutralizing him. Back right. elbows. Finally, the third one broke the move. Oh. Drop kick was on the button. Oh, that was stiff. Right in the chest and the jaw, Chavo Guerrero Jr. This is a new attitude. This is not the Lieutenant Loco of the Lunchboxes and Shoehorn Brigade. This is a guy who wants to keep a hard-won title. And that's the key to his success. No longer aligned with the oh. misfits in action. The double leg takedown by Evan Courageous, and he starts raining in the right hands, and look at Chavo Jr. The rolling mount from Chavo and Evan, they are laying him in high and tight, these two. This isn't your typical cruiserweight fair. Not a lot of high flying. Yeah, far from a cruiserweight matchup that we expected. We thought there was going to be plenty of activity off the top rope. High risk moves, high risk offense, but there's really been none of that. Oh, but it's been intense. Count your teeth, Evan Courageous. Chavo, a little free dentist work for the former member of three count. Knife edge chops in the chest. On a sin weekend, Chavo looks ready. Laying in those chops, you see the fingerprints oh. on the chest of Courageous, and Chavo Jr. sends him in back first into the turnbuckles. Watch Chavo out of the corner. Suplex attempt blocked by Evan. Evan, no. Chavo plants him on the middle turnbuckle. Oh, Evan, oh, oh hung out to dry. That'll take your breath away. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide for Evan Courageous. Trapped in the corner, the recipient of that drop kick from Chavo Jr. Now, the other thing that's really impressed me about this young man, no longer just reliant on one move like that Tornado DDT. We've seen him add in recent weeks the frog splash as well as the brain buster to his artillery, to his repertoire of finishing moves. It's made him even more dangerous. But you saw him waste time. Playing to the crowd, letting Evan Courageous get whatever second win he has left. Chavo may have had this one in the bag, but he went over to the corner, playing to the crowd, the beauty shot, if you will, letting Evan get back a little bit of second win. Evan's still got some fight in it. Yeah, but I think it's Chavo Jr. just showing the confidence level that he has attained since cutting the cord, since cutting all ties with the misfits in action, going out on his own, being successful, and now trying to retain that championship belt. But don't forget also, Evan Courageous has Jamie Noble, who at any time could come out and equalize or rather neutralize Chavo Guerrero. Chavo is his own man. No one's watching his back. Baseball slide through the wicket up top. Oh, spine buster from Evan Courageous. Quick lateral press, puts the near leg two count on the Cruiserweight Champion. Well, there still was some fire left in Evan Courageous. He just planted the champion with the spine buster, went for the pin. Here's a roll up by Chavo. Float out by Evan. Oh, the right hand from Chavo Jr. The look on the face of Chavo Jr. really tells the whole story. The intensity that he has in this matchup against Evan Courageous connecting with the back suplex. Across, lateral press, Chavo Guerrero, a two count on Evan Courageous. Earlier on, we saw Ric Flair and Rowdy Roddy Piper in the pick of the week. This is not Ric Flair and Rowdy Roddy Piper. No, but when you talk about an intensity level, much as we saw in that matchup with Piper and Flair, these two youngsters are really taking it to each other. Oh. And of course, the cruiserweight gold is at stake. Well, this is more like Flair and Piper, an exchange of right hands, just tattooing the opponent. 
I am really amazed that both men can adjust their style away from the high-flying cruiserweight type we've seen before. They're just fighting. They're just brawling all over the place. Evan Courageous able to get the boots up at the last minute. Watch Here's that. a high-risk move. Cross-body block, and he hit it perfectly. Hooks the far leg and no. Chavo Guerrero that close to losing the cruiserweight title. That title is at stake in this matchup. If Evan Courageous should somehow win the cruiserweight title, and he may have let power slide. Here we go. Lateral press, though. Chavo rolled a shoulder, did not kick out. Chavo has been slowed. Evan Courageous would take over the bookings, I assume, and Sunday night, Evan would defend against Sugar Shane Helms, or would Chavo demand a rematch? Oh, face jam, that time out of a reversal. Great counter by Evan Courageous, but instead oh. of going for the pin, instead of going for the championship, he's, he, he's driving the Cadillac. Looks like he's trying out for the Chippendale Dancer. Lateral press, no, and a two count. That was Evan Courageous walking away from the Cruiserweight title. Lapsing time. Yeah, lapse in concentration certainly hurt him. Let's see if Chavo Jr. can now take advantage and keep the belt. Float out escape, go behind by Evan Courageous. Reversal by Chavo. Sets up Evan. This may be the brain buster. Got it! Evan Courageous. Is he still conscious? I don't know, but he is counted out. Chavo Guerrero Jr. wins it. One of the mo new moves that he's added to that offensive display, the Brain Buster, keeps the title with Chavo Jr. And you know who's next up. Absolutely, it's Sugar Shane Helms Sunday night at Sin. Keep your eye out on this athlete. Chavo Guerrero Jr. loves having the gold. He's going to hang on to it for all these worth. Tough test Sunday at Sin, though, for Chavo Jr. against Sugar Shane. Chavo Guerrero Jr. emerges with the cruiserweight title intact, Mike, but Sunday night, what a challenge he has in Sugar Shane Helms. As one of the members of Three Count, Sugar Shane has certainly revolutionized tag team wrestling. Is he going to be as successful in singles competition with the pressure of a title belt at stake and no tag team partner? There's going to be no Shannon Moore. Sugar Shane, you're on your own against Chavo Jr. for the cruiserweight title. That goes down Sunday night at Sin on pay-per-view three-way dance. For the World Heavyweight Championship, Scott Steiner. Will it be Sid Vicious or Jeff Jarrett? And who is the mystery man? We'll find out Sunday night. The streak of Goldberg is on the line. The tag team titles at stake. U.S. title, cruiserweight title, hardcore title. They're all up for grabs. It goes down Sunday night in Indianapolis. It's the inaugural Sin pay-per-view. We'll be there. We hope to see you in Indy or on pay-per-view next week. Here on Worldwide, it's the return of real-time wrestling. And Bam Bam Bigelow takes on Big Vito in a Worldwide exclusive. You don't want to miss it. For the professor, Mike Tanay, I'm Scott Hudson. See you Sunday night at 10.